So one time as I washed through the dark woods of Penzik, going from camp to camp, I came upon two women out of the darkness, and they had a jar, and in this jar were glowing eyeballs. <laughs> and they were accosting each person who walked upon this dark area where no torches were reached, with a call of, eyes for sale, we have eyes for sale. <laughs> And they demanded of each person they, they approached from a story or a joke or a poem. So I said to them, Wonders Walk is bound to no, Do you know their names? Do you know their presence? The oak and the acorn has cleared my eyes, and the bird and the bound and the bulb I get. I sense the sun in the silver starlight, the earthly orb in the igneous pebble. The lay of life will call the bark as the forms of decay in the caving mountains. But with arms and eyes both open wide, I trace all truths, be they deep or trivial. <coughs> For youth must yield to the passing years as the bough of the birch must bend under snow. Yet I face the fates and feel no dread, for the myriad mysteries marking this life are sweet to my soul, my insatiable mind, rebels and rabbits and knots. Plucking and pulling strands of heart to reveal a vision of veritable beauty. Partake of eternity's terrible leaping. Bask in the boundless beauty of space, and feel no fear for infinity's vastness. The frail as frost are fragile lives, and grief has a breath that breathes as our constant. This lambent life will be lost soon enough, like a flowered flood or a flame of storm. So soak in the sunlight and savor the burning, and clean not the clay, for dread is cloying. And who lives belaboring by dread is lost while yet walking this world bereft of life. Death is the doom all life is due, but greet him graciously, grudge not his And when time has taken its toll on your senses, release this life without bitterness, lightly. As the fledgling flies above the nest. And they gave me an eyeball from the jaw. <laughs> <laughs>